Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. This hunt really began for me June 1st when the Colorado Parks and Wildlife released their draw. I, I don't think you really ever think you're going to draw. It's one of those unique, uh, almost the holy grail of Colorado bow hunting. The whole experience, I think, of the months leading up to the hunt and and all the scouting we did, it was awesome. Being able to see so much new country. We even got a chance to fly where we were gonna be hunting in September with my good buddy Peter with West Elk Air. I'd never done that, it was, it was remarkable being able to see that gorgeous country from a bird's eye view. Perhaps more important than the moose hunt, is the guys I get to share it with. Lifelong friends like Sean Greathouse, Tanner Vernon, Garrett Drack, and of course my mentor, Glenn Vlass. Glenn was the man who took me under his wing 20 years ago when I moved here from New Mexico, and he introduced me to Colorado bow hunting. The second morning of the hunt, I think our goal was really just to find that moose that we just caught a glimpse of the, the, the morning before. We knew the drainage he was in and most likely he was still in there, but, but we hadn't seen him again and, and we didn't really know if he was the one. So we split up and we let our glass do our walking rather than our boots. We're working this whole draw out. We've been, we got here early this morning. And you walked down and saw a cow and calf, which might have been this cow and calf right around. We came down and we're looking and there's a cow and a calf and a really good bull from what we can see. For me, they're all big. But we want to take a look and yeah. see if he's the one. It looks like he's got, you know, both He's got fronts. amazing fronts. Let's get up there while he's still right here and yeah. take a little bit closer look. Okay. Sean, that's a really good bull. That's a good bull. I think he's the one.
It was a little low, dude. You're fine. Okay. That ball. I, 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 I should have probably ranged him myself. I felt like I was a little bit low. That was just awesome. I, I know there's bigger bulls, but to have you here calling him in, him here, the other guys, watch him from, and then decoy him in. We could have shot him six different times, except that Tanner was on one side, I was on the other side. I gotta sit down just a sec. <laughs> that was awesome. I wanted to shoot him here top pin, but I couldn't shoot through the tree, and then you didn't have the angle. I don't even know what to say. He's humongous. I can't even pick his head up. <laughs> Thank you. I think it was supposed to be. Congratulations, sir. That is awesome. What Thanks for being here. What a bull. Thanks for being here. I don't know what to say. So to have Sean, one of my best friends, Tanner, Garrett, surrounded by my mentor. Awesome. Yeah, this is amazing. I, tears of joy, you know, because if there's guys I want to share it with, it's you guys. You're making me good. Sorry, I don't mean to get sappy. I'm just, this is kind of a special deal. This isn't my, just my moose. This is Sean and Glenn and Tanner and Garrett. But for me, this hunt, I wanted it to be that memory of sharing a wall tent together and, yeah. and you know, the laughs we have about the stories we tell around the camp stove. And I think, you know, getting to see him here in this valley with the snow-capped peaks, in your mind, if you say, what is the, the ideal moose habitat and where they're gonna live? And you couldn't have put him in a better spot. This no. is the draw. Yeah. Thank you, guys for being here. That was awesome. Thank you, Lord. Yep, amen. Holy crud, he's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.